in. Here we go. And there we go. Good morning, everyone. Good to have you on here this morning. I know I'm a little bit late. I was having a few technical glitches here as we got going. And so I hope you're still around. I see Gina, you're on. Ricky Nova is on. Classic Legacy, good to see you, Catherine. Treasured Touch, love all of you that are jumping on. And Terry, you have to stay on, Terry, because you're kind of the star of our show today. Nancy, you're on, good to see you. Um, so glad that you're on this morning and thank you for those hearts since we're running a little bit late boy I am just gonna jump right into our content for for today and get going so um, hang on here with me everyone I'm gonna go live on Facebook and we will jump in RSM 13 good to have you as well thank you so much for joining me so here we go in three two one so hello everyone I am so glad you've decided to join me today and um, we're talking about something that I couldn't wait to get to this episode um, we're gonna be talking about how you make a difference in the lives of your colleagues now in this series we've talked about how you make a difference in the life of your family and you um, you make a difference in the life of your team members and um, today we're going to be talking about our colleagues and that is you I am so glad that you have all joined me today so here we go um, I can tell you without a shadow of a doubt that reaching out and building a network of passionate progressive nose to the ground hard-working creative inspiring giving and amazing business owners has been life-changing for me as both a retailer and to me personally so I have sometimes struggled with the fact and maybe you've struggled with this too but I've sometimes struggled with the fact that I don't do anything monumental for mankind um, I don't save people's lives like a nurse or a doctor would and I don't fight battles for our freedom like our brave men and women in our military do and I don't think I'll ever invent anything um, that will change the world I'm a merchant and I sell purses and clothing and kids games and gourmet foods however I want you to know that you and I both do make a difference in the lives of others and the work that we do is important to our family to our customers and to our colleagues and that is all about you today today's episode is all about you so the first couple of decades in business I really knew only a handful of others in our industry so of course when I saw familiar people at market or at bu a buying meeting uh, I was friendly I was talkative and it's no surprise there that I was on the talkative side um, but I didn't take that next step and build a relationship with them outside of that so all of that changed when I met my friend Terry King and Terry I know you're on I'm so glad you're on here today because I do think meeting Terry was a pivotal point in my career it made me step outside my comfort zone and I have never looked back <clears throat> so I know I've told this story before but it's one of my favorites because Terry is such an important person in my life um, so in case you missed it Terry and I were both members of Bob Negan's whiz bang training master class and where I think there were four retailers that met with Bob on a regular basis for a group coaching phone call so Terry and I hit it off from the very beginning and we started chatting outside of the coaching sessions uh, we called this area this time of our life as our cyber dating stage so after a few months we decided to meet personally at the next market so the rest is just history Terry and I became fast friends and she introduced me to different thoughts and ideas and ways to run a business along with her circle of retail friends and I did the same for her so we are each gifted in very different areas and that is that diversity makes us good teammates this is something I've struggled with sometimes is that I feel like Terry is just so extremely gifted and I think what do I bring to Terry but I think what I bring to Terry is the community um, and things that we do like here on um, the 
Periscope and the podcasts in the mornings. Um, I think I bring that to her, and I absolutely am so grateful to her. But that circle didn't end with Terry. It started with Terry, and it has grown to include many of you that are listening today. So I think of Carol. Um, th- meeting you has made a big... <laughs> thank you, Terry. Um, I think of Carol um, from Overland Park, Kansas, who I get to see tomorrow. I'm so excited as we're uh, attending a conference together. I think of Connie from Arlington, Texas, who I can't wait to see later this month. Um, Gina from Wheatland, Wyoming, and her son who listen almost every day without fail. Um, Flo and Steve from Michigan, Linda Banfield from California, and then Shelley Bartell, Janet Chin, and Catherine Tatum, who rarely miss one of these episodes. Um, Brad and Sandy from Wisconsin, Suzanne from Colorado, Teresa and Sarah from Indianapolis, and that list could go on and on and on, and I tell you, I... I, I could have written the entire episode with d- different people's names. Um, and someone had asked, my secret garden is um, Terry's store, Catherine. So what I want to say to you today is this. You, you make a difference in the lives of people around you. You make a difference in other professionals in your field. All of these people that I mentioned above, they make a difference in my life on almost a daily basis. As fellow business owners, they speak my language and they struggle with those same challenges that I face. There's no need for small talk. We can jump right into a conversation through a text or an email or a Zoom and we can work together to solve that problem. Um, And so I think, (laughs) thank you, Catherine. She says, you do make a difference in the lives of others. Yes, we do. We all do, Catherine. Each one of us has a circle of influence. And how we affect others is up to us. So sometimes you get to feeling a little overwhelmed as a business owner. And um, I am starting something new. I am... um, I'm going to make myself available to do some coaching. And you are able to schedule a complimentary 15-minute coaching session with me. Um, And here, I've got a little show and tell. So get out your little camera. There is um, my little website, my little bit.ly link. And I'll move it over here for Facebook. There we go. There we go. So you can take a screenshot of that if you would like to schedule a little 15-minute coaching session with me. There we go. Um, But I think it's so important for some of you that don't have this circle of influence, of people that are pouring into your lives, you've got to start somewhere. And I think it is really important to invest in yourself professionally. I have invested in coaching for my business over and over and over again over the last 33 years. And I can tell you, I never have felt that it's been a waste of either time or money. So let's face it, your family or friends are not work that who are not working in the business with you they don't want to hear about shipping or staffing problems or the next big thing that you just found at market they don't know what it's like to carry the entire weight of the responsibility you feel to your staff members and your business That's <clears throat> um But your professional friends do. Those people, those colleagues that are in your life that you can reach out to absolutely do speak your language. And they are, it is so important to have a circle of people like that that surround you. So I want to put out a word of caution here too. I I think you should build these deep, very connected, very honest relationships with professionals outside of your own geographical or market area. When there's absolutely no competition involved, it allows you to be deeply honest and very generous with sharing your very best ideas and create these deep relationships that go on for years and years and years. So, years have flown by now, and I continue to build these relationships with other professionals in my field. And I really want to encourage you to step outside your comfort zone 
and to join a like-minded group of professionals in your area of expertise. Be a giver, don't just be a taker. Contribute to the group. Talk to people at the next market while you wait in line for badges or riding a shuttle or for a meal. So at the last Atlanta market, while waiting in line for a free taco bar in one of our favorite showrooms, we started a conversation with a mother-daughter duo that were in line ahead of us. We had an immediate connection with them. They are from Nebraska, and we ended up sitting on the floor while we ate our tacos. One by one, several other retail friends started to join this circle, and by the end of the evening, we had made a real connection with these ladies. So since that time, here's what's happened. They joined us at a market that they had never even heard of before, and that is life-changing to their business. They joined one of our retail buying membership groups, and they've gone on to share great selling lines, marketing ideas, and more. They are florists, and we connected them with our friend Gina from Wyoming, a fellow florist, and they've shared back and forth many times. This has now become life-changing for Gina because it's opened her up to new possibilities for vendors and marketing ideas. So they are not only making making a difference in the lives of those around them. That circle just keeps going. So I'll end with this today. Stretch your boundaries. Get out of your comfort zone. It might feel a little bit like junior high when you're looking for someone to sit with at lunch. But I promise you, once you start making these connections, you will never be sorry. Do you follow another store on Facebook? I think we're all stalkers these days. So take it one step further and email the owner. Get an accountability partner to meet with you each week. Or invest in the life of a business owner who's a little bit behind you in experience. It is worth that investment. And Catherine is saying, stretch your boundaries. Yes, yes, yes. Get outside that comfort zone. So, um, here at Remarkable Retailer, we're working hard on something new that is just around the corner. And I can't wait to watch, to launch Remarkable You, an online membership group. So this is going to be a private membership community of self-employed entrepreneurs, including retailers, local restaurants, florists, service businesses, and salon owners, who work hard to be exceptional at what they do every single day. So like I said earlier, if you'd like to schedule a one-on-one -on -one personalized coaching experience, I'd be happy, happy to schedule a complimentary 15-minute coaching session with you. You can just go to bit.ly slash workwithvicki, and I will be glad to talk to you. Uh, now my phone is ringing. Sorry, guys. It's, we keep it real here. <laughs> so I want to thank you so much for talking with me or for joining me today, and I look forward to speaking with you personally. Um, I'm not going to be on tomorrow morning because our conference actually starts at 7 a.m. They don't waste a single minute of your time, but I plan to be back Saturday morning to wrap up this series we've had on how you make a difference in the lives of the people that surround you and how important it is to be intentional about the way that you're pouring into others. So until Saturday morning, I want to thank you again for joining me. Um, you can always reach out to me through email, vicki, V-I-C-K-I, at remarkableretailer.com. I will see you Saturday morning. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.